in the heart of Clifford, nestled amidst the tranquil streets lined with elegant houses, lived Arnold and Cecilia, a couple whose presence seemed to add a touch of grandeur to the quaint town. Arnold, with his distinguished grey hair, and Cecilia, with her graceful demeanour, were revered figures in the community. Arnold had a twinkle in his eye and a wallet as thick as a dictionary, who had built his fortune through years of hard work and shrewd investments. Cecilia, his beloved wife, was the epitome of grace and charm, her warm smile melting the hearts of everyone she met. Their day began with the soft golden rays of the morning sun filtering through the curtains of their opulent mansion. Arnold would rise promptly at six, a habit ingrained from his days of running a successful conglomerate, while Cecilia would join him shortly after, her smile brightening the room as she greeted him with a warm cup of coffee. Their mornings were spent leisurely, Arnold perusing the newspaper with a critical eye, while Cecilia tended to her garden, her green thumb evident in the riot of colours that bloomed under her care. Occasionally they would take a stroll through the town, Arnold nodding politely to acquaintances while Cecilia exchanged pleasantries with the neighbours, her kindness a beacon of light in their lives. Arnold would often make his way to the town square, where the aroma of freshly brewed coffee wafted from the local cafe. Good morning, Arnold! The cafe owner would call out as Arnold settled into his favourite corner table. Good morning, Charlie. A cup of your finest brew, please. Arnold would reply with a grin. Meanwhile, Cecilia would be in their cosy home, tending to her garden with loving care. The vibrant bloom seemed to nod in approval as she gently coaxed them to life, her laughter ringing out like music in the quiet streets. Isn't it a lovely day, Cecilia? Arnold would exclaim upon returning home, his cheeks flushed from the crisp morning air. It certainly is, dear, Cecilia would reply, her eyes sparkling with affection. As the day progressed, Arnold would attend to his various philanthropic endeavours, ensuring that his wealth was put to good use in supporting local charities and community projects. Meanwhile, Cecilia would immerse herself in her passion for painting, her canvas a reflection of the beauty she found in the world around her. Despite their riches, Arnold and Cecilia were known for their humility and generosity. They hosted lavish charity events, inviting the townsfolk to partake in sumptuous feasts while raising funds for those in need. Their mansion was always open to friends and strangers alike, its halls echoing with laughter and camaraderie. Evenings were a time for quiet reflection, Arnold and Cecilia sitting together on the veranda, watching the sun dip below the horizon in a blaze of fiery hues. They would reminisce about days gone by, sharing stories of their youth and the adventures they had embarked upon together. Darling, do you remember the first time we met? Arnold would ask, a nostalgic smile playing on his lips. How could I forget? You spilt your drink all over my favourite dress. Cecilia would tease, her laughter tinkling like wind chimes in the breeze. We've lived a good life, haven't we, Arnold? Cecilia would muse, her hand resting gently on his arm. We certainly have, my love, Arnold would reply, his heart overflowing with gratitude for the years they'd shared. As the stars twinkled overhead, casting their gentle glow upon the town below, Arnold and Cecilia would drift off to sleep, knowing that their love was a beacon of light in a world filled with darkness. Dylan, their only son, had carved out a life for himself in the bustling city, a world away from the tranquil streets of Clifford. He was a successful businessman, his days consumed by endless meetings and conference calls, leaving little time for anything else. Though Arnold and Cecilia were proud of his accomplishments, they couldn't help but feel a pang of loneliness at his infrequent visits. Arnold! Do you think Dylan will come to visit us soon? Cecilia would ask, her voice tinged with longing as she set the table for dinner. I'm sure he's just busy, my dear. He'll come when he can, Arnold would reply, 
his tone masking the disappointment that lingered in his heart. And when Dylan did finally find the time to visit, it was always a whirlwind affair, his brief stay filled with rushed conversations and hurried goodbyes. It's good to see you, son, Arnold would say, his voice tinged with sadness as he embraced his son in a brief hug. Yeah, it's been too long, Dylan would reply, his mind already drifting to the countless emails awaiting his attention back in the city. Despite their best efforts to bridge the gap between them, Arnold and Cecilia couldn't help but feel a sense of disconnect from their son's life. His world was a far cry from theirs, filled with deadlines and bottom lines, leaving little room for the simple pleasures they held dear. Do you think you'll ever slow down and spend more time with us? Cecilia would wonder aloud. Her eyes clouded with worry as she watched Dylan disappear down the driveway, his car disappearing into the distance. I'm not sure, my love, but we'll always be here, waiting for him whenever he decides to come home. Arnold would reply, his voice filled with a quiet determination to cherish the moments they did have together, however fleeting they may be. Despite Arnold and Cecilia's hopes, Dylan's visits to Clifford remained sporadic at best. His reluctance to return to the quaint old town where he grew up became more apparent with each passing year. Instead, he found solace in the bustling energy of the city, where the pace of life matched the rhythm of his ambitious pursuits. Dylan, won't you come with us to the town fair this weekend? Cecilia would ask, her voice tinged with disappointment as she watched her son pack his bags for another business trip. Sorry, Mum, I've got a lot on my plate right now. Maybe next time, Dylan would reply, his attention already drifting to the stack of paperwork awaiting him at the office. And while Arnold and Cecilia longed for their son's presence in their quiet corner of the world, they couldn't fault him for forging his path in life. Dylan had found a sense of belonging with his wife, Jules's family. Their vibrant personalities and modern sensibilities aligning more closely with his own. I understand, Dylan. Family is where you find it, Arnold would say, his voice tinged with a hint of sadness as he watched his son drive off into the distance once again. Yeah, something like that, Dylan would reply, his mind already miles away, lost in the cacophony of the city streets. And so, despite their son's absence, Arnold and Cecilia found solace in the memories they'd shared and the love that bound them together. Their home may have been quiet without Dylan's laughter echoing through the halls, but it was filled with warmth and affection, a testament to the enduring bonds of family, wherever they may be found. As the years passed, Arnold began to notice subtle changes in himself. The once effortless spring in his step became a bit more cautious, and the lines etched on his face told the stories of a lifetime's worth of experiences. Despite his best efforts to maintain his vigour, Arnold would find himself slowing down, his joints creaking in protest with each movement. Arnold, dear, perhaps you should take it easy today, Cecilia would gently suggest, concern etched in her eyes as she watched him struggle to tie his shoelaces. I'm fine, my love, Arnold would reply with a dismissive wave of his hand, refusing to let age dictate his actions. But try as he might to defy the inevitable, Arnold couldn't escape the creeping tendrils of old age. Simple tasks that once came second nature now required twice the effort, and the once vibrant energy that fueled his every endeavour began to wane. Arnold, let me help you, Cecilia would say, her voice soft with understanding as she reached out to support him on their walks through the town. I can manage, Cecilia, Arnold would protest, his pride refusing to accept the limitations imposed by his ageing body. Despite his stubbornness, Arnold couldn't deny the toll that age or illness was taking on him. The sharpness of his mind remained intact, but his body no longer obeyed his commands with the same ease it once had. Each day brought new challenges from forgetting where he'd left his glasses to struggling to climb the stairs to their bedroom. It's okay, Arnold. We'll take things one step at a time, 
Cecilia would reassure him, her unwavering laugh serving as a beacon of strength in the face of adversity. And though the passage of time may have dimmed Arnold's once boundless vitality, it couldn't diminish the love that he and Cecilia shared. Together, they faced the trials of old age with grace and resilience, their bond growing stronger with each passing day. Arnold's once robust health began to falter, much to the concern of Cecilia and those who knew him well in Clifford. What began as occasional aches and pains evolved into something more troubling, a persistent fatigue that seemed to weigh heavily on his shoulders, and a cough that lingered long after the winter had passed. Arnold, perhaps you should see a doctor about that cough, Cecilia would urge, worry etched in the lines of her face as she watched her husband struggle to catch his breath. I'll be fine, Cecilia. <clears throat> Just a bit of a cold, Arnold would reply, though the strain in his voice belied his reassurances. But as the days turned into weeks, Arnold's condition only seemed to worsen. His appetite dwindled, and even the simplest tasks left him breathless and weary. The once vibrant twinkle in his eyes grew dim, replaced by a shadow of the man he once was. Arnold, please, let me call the doctor, Cecilia would plead, her voice trembling with fear she watched her husband grow weaker with each passing day. Reluctantly, Arnold agreed to seek medical help, though his pride still prevented him from fully acknowledging the severity of his condition. The diagnosis was grim, a chronic illness that would require ongoing treatment and careful management. It's just a setback, Cecilia. I'll bounce back in no time, Arnold would say, though the uncertainty in his voice betrayed his bravado. But despite his best efforts to remain optimistic, Arnold's health continued to deteriorate. The once bustling town square seemed to grow quieter with each passing day, as Arnold's absence cast a sombre pall over the community he had long been a part of. I'm sorry, Cecilia. I never meant for things to turn out this way, Arnold would say, his voice barely above a whisper as he lay weak in their bed. It's not your fault, my love. We'll get through this together. Cecilia would reply, her hand clasped tightly in his, a silent vow to stand by his side through whatever trials lay ahead. Arnold and Cecilia faced the challenges of his illness with courage and resilience, their love serving as a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. Though his body may have been weakened by disease, Arnold's spirit remained unbroken, a testament to the indomitable strength of the human heart. Arnold's health continued to decline, and the need for constant care became apparent. In stepped Christine, a kind-hearted nurse whose compassion and dedication quickly endeared her to both Arnold and Cecilia. From the moment she entered their home, Christine brought with her a sense of warmth and reassurance that eased the burdens of Arnold's illness. Each morning, Christine would arrive at the crack of dawn, her gentle smile chasing away the darkness that lingered in the corners of the room. With a steady hand and a soothing voice, she would tend to Arnold's needs, administering his medication with precision and care. Good morning, Mr. Arnold. How are you feeling today? Christine would ask, her voice soft and reassuring as she checked his vital signs. As well as can be expected, Christine. Thank you for being here, Arnold would reply his eyes brightening at the sight of her familiar face. Throughout the day, Christine would attend to Arnold's every need, from preparing his meals to assisting him with his exercises. Her presence brought a sense of comfort and stability to their home, her unwavering dedication a source of strength for both Arnold and Cecilia. Would you like some tea, Mr Arnold? Christine would inquire her eyes sparkling with kindness as she placed a steaming cup in his trembling hands. Thank you, Christine. You're an angel, Arnold would say, his gratitude evident in the warmth of his smile. But Christine's care extended beyond the physical realm. 
She was a constant source of emotional support for both Arnold and Cecilia, offering a listening ear and a shoulder to lean on in their moments of doubt and despair. You're doing a wonderful job, Mrs. Cecilia. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything, Christine would say, her voice filled with compassion as she embraced Cecilia in a comforting hug. As the days turned into weeks, Christine's presence became an integral part of Arnold and Cecilia's daily routine. Though the road ahead was fraught with uncertainty, they took solace in knowing that they were not alone, thanks to the unwavering dedication of their compassionate nurse, Christine. From the moment Christine stepped into Arnold's life, there was an instant connection that transcended the boundaries of caregiver and patient. Arnold couldn't help but see in her the daughter he never had, her gentle demeanour and compassionate nature reminding him of Cecilia in her youth. And though their time together was spent within the confines of Arnold's home, they found solace in each other's company, their conversations a balm for the soul amid life's trials. Christine, would you care to join me for a cup of tea? Arnold would ask, his voice tinged with warmth as he motioned for her to take a seat beside him. I'd love to, Mr. Arnold. Thank you, Christine would reply, her eyes sparkling with genuine affection as she settled into the chair opposite him. And so, they would sit together in the cosy confines of the living room, sipping tea and sharing stories that span the breadth of their lives. From tales of Arnold's youth spent roaming the streets of Clifford to Christine's adventures as a young nurse, they found common ground in their shared experiences and mutual respect for one another. But their conversations weren't limited to reminiscing about days gone by. They also shared their hopes and dreams for the future, finding solace in the knowledge that they were not alone in facing life's uncertainties. Thank you for being here, Christine. You've brought so much light into our lives, Arnold would say, his voice filled with gratitude as he clasped her hand in his. It's my pleasure, Mr. Arnold. I feel truly blessed to be a part of your journey, Christine would reply, her eyes shining with affection as she squeezed his hand in return. And as the days turned into weeks and the seasons changed around them, Arnold and Christine's bond only grew stronger, a testament to the power of love and connection in the face of adversity. Though their time together may have been fleeting, the memories they shared would remain etched in their hearts forever. A reminder of the profound impact that one person can have on another's life. Christine belonged to a loving middle-class family. Her parents, Charles and Margaret, were hard-working individuals who instilled in Christine the values of kindness, compassion and dedication from a young age. Mummy, can we go to the park today? A young Christine would ask, her eyes shining with excitement as she tugged at her mother's sleeve. Of course, sweetheart, let's go pack a picnic, Margaret would reply, her smile reflecting the boundless joy that her daughter brought into their lives. Growing up, Christine's days were filled with simple pleasures and cherished moments spent with her family. From picnics in the park to bike rides through the neighbourhood. She treasured every moment spent in the warm embrace of her parents' love. Daddy, look, I can ride my bike without training wheels! Christine would exclaim, her laughter ringing out like music in the crisp afternoon air. Wow, that's amazing, sweetheart. I'm so proud of you, Charles would reply, his eyes shining with pride as he watched his daughter's accomplishment unfold before him. But amidst the laughter and joy, there were also moments of hardship and sacrifice. Charles and Margaret worked tirelessly to provide for their family, often juggling multiple jobs to make ends meet. Yet, despite the challenges they faced, they never let the circumstances dampen their spirits or dim the light of love that shone brightly within their home. Mummy, why do you and Daddy have to work so much? Christine would ask, her brow furrowed with confusion as she watched her parents rush off to yet another long day of work. We work hard so that you can have the best life possible, sweetheart. Someday you'll understand, Margaret would reply. 
Her voice filled with determination as she hugged her daughter tightly. And though Christine's childhood was filled with both triumphs and trials, she emerged from those formative years with a heart full of gratitude and a determination to make a difference in the world. I want to be a nurse when I grow up, Mummy. I want to help people just like you and Daddy, Christine would say, her eyes shining with determination as she shared her dreams with her parents. I do not doubt that you'll do great things, sweetheart. Just remember to always follow your heart, Margaret would reply, her voice filled with pride as she looked upon her daughter with love. And so, armed with the lessons of love, resilience and compassion that she had learnt from her parents, Christine set out in the world, determined to make a difference wherever life may lead her. As Christine grew into a fine young lady, her childhood dreams of becoming a nurse only grew stronger with each passing day. Guided by the unwavering support of her loving parents, she dedicated herself wholeheartedly to her studies, pouring countless hours into her education to ensure she could achieve her goals. Late nights spent poring over textbooks and early mornings spent in the library became the norm for Christine as she pursued her dream with unrelenting determination. Despite the challenges she faced along the way, from difficult exams to demanding clinical rotations, she never wavered in her commitment to her chosen path. I know it's tough, Christine, but I believe in you. You have the strength and the determination to succeed, Margaret would say, her voice filled with encouragement as she watched her daughter pour her heart and soul into her studies. As the years passed, Christine's hard work and dedication paid off, culminating in her graduation from nursing school with top honours. Armed with her newfound knowledge and a passion for helping others, she embarked on her career with a sense of purpose and determination that knew no bounds. I did it, Mum! I'm officially a nurse! Christine would exclaim, her face beaming with pride as she shared the news with her parents. We always knew you could do it, sweetheart. We're so proud of you, Charles would reply, his eyes shining with pride as he enveloped his daughter in a tight embrace. With her diploma in hand, Christine wasted no time in pursuing her dream job, securing a position at the local hospital where she could put her skills to use in service of those in need. From comforting patients in their darkest hours, to assisting doctors in life-saving procedures, Christine approached her work with compassion, grace and unwavering dedication. I'm so grateful to be able to do what I love every day, Mum. I feel like I'm making a real difference in people's lives, Christine would say, her voice filled with gratitude as she reflected on her career. You've always had a heart of gold, sweetheart. I do not doubt that you'll continue to touch the lives of many, Margaret would reply, her eyes shining with pride as she looked upon her daughter with love. And so, armed with her passion for helping others and the unwavering support of her loving parents, Christine embarked on a journey that would see her touch the lives of countless individuals, leaving behind a legacy of compassion kindness and unwavering dedication to the noble profession of nursing. Christine's dedication and skill quickly earned her a reputation as one of the finest nurses in the hospital. Her compassionate demeanour and unwavering commitment to her patients endeared her to both colleagues and superiors alike, earning her the trust and respect of all who knew her. When Arnold fell ill, it was no surprise that the doctors entrusted Christine with his care. His status as a highly regarded figure in the town only served to underscore the importance of finding the best possible care for him. And Christine was more than up to the task. Christine, we need you to take care of Mr Arnold. He's a pillar of our community and we trust you to provide him with the best possible care. The head physician would say, his tone grave as he relayed the importance of the task at hand. I won't let you down, Doctor. Mr. Arnold will be in good hands, Christine would reply, her voice filled with determination as she prepared to take on the challenge. From the moment she arrived at Arnold and Cecilia's home, 
Christine approached her role with the same dedication and compassion that had earned her acclaim in her profession. She tended to Arnold's needs with meticulous attention to detail, ensuring that he received the best possible care at every turn. Thank you, Christine. You've been a godsend during this difficult time, Cecilia would say, her voice filled with gratitude as she watched Christine tend to Arnold with gentle care. It's my pleasure, Mrs. Cecilia. I'm just glad I can be here to help, Christine would reply, her words a testament to her unwavering commitment to her patient's well-being. As the days turned into weeks, Christine's presence brought a sense of comfort and reassurance to Arnold and Cecilia, knowing that they were in the hands of someone they could trust implicitly. Her skill and dedication were unmatched, and her genuine compassion touched the hearts of all who knew her. Thank you, Christine, for everything you've done for us. We'll never forget your kindness, Arnold would say, his voice filled with gratitude as he looked upon his caregiver with genuine appreciation. And so, Christine's unwavering dedication and compassionate care became a beacon of hope in Arnold's darkest hour a testament to the power of kindness and empathy to heal even the deepest wounds of the soul. As Arnold's health deteriorated and he found himself unable to partake in the social activities he once enjoyed, Cecilia stepped into the spotlight with grace and determination. With a keen eye for elegance and a flair for entertaining, she took charge of hosting soirees and attending charity events on behalf of her husband, ensuring that their presence in the town of Clifford remain as prominent as ever. My dear, we simply must host a dinner party next week. It's been far too long since we've entertained, Cecilia would say, her voice filled with enthusiasm as she busied herself with preparations for the evening's festivities. I suppose you're right, Cecilia. It would be good for morale, Arnold would reply, his tone resigned as he watched his wife flit about the room with boundless energy. But while Cecilia's efforts were driven in part by a desire to maintain their standing in society, there was no denying the genuine pleasure she took in the glamour and luxury of their social engagements. There's nothing quite like a night of fine dining and sparkling conversation, don't you agree, Arnold? Cecilia would say, her eyes alight with excitement as she greeted their guests with a warm smile. I suppose so, my dear. Though I must admit I I miss the quiet evenings we used to spend together, Arnold would reply, his voice tinged with nostalgia as he longed for the simplicity of days gone by. Despite her husband's longing for a more tranquil existence, Cecilia remained steadfast in her pursuit of the finer things in life. From organising charity galas to attending society balls, She reveled in the glamour and prestige that came with their position in the town of Clifford. We simply must make an appearance at the Mayor's Charity Auction next month. It's for a good cause, after all, Cecilia would say, her voice filled with determination as she finalised the details of their social calendar. I'll leave it in your capable hands, Cecilia. Just be sure not to overextend yourself, Arnold would reply his concern for his wife's well-being evident in the gentle tone of his voice. And so, Cecilia's tireless efforts to maintain their place in society became a testament to her unwavering commitment to her husband and their shared legacy in the town of Clifford. Though their paths may have diverged in their twilight years, their bond remained unbreakable a testament to the enduring power of love and partnership in the face of adversity. As Cecilia became increasingly immersed in the whirlwind of social events and glamorous soirees, her focus shifted away from the needs of her ailing husband, Arnold. Mornings were a flurry of activity as she hurried through her routine, barely sparing a moment to check on Arnold before dashing off to town with her friends. The allure of the social scene beckoned, pulling her further away from the quiet confines of their home and the responsibilities that awaited her there. Arnold, I'll be out for the day to take care of some things. Do take care of yourself, won't you? 
Cecilia would call out, her voice echoing through the halls as she hurriedly gathered her things. I'll be fine, Cecilia. Don't you worry about me. Arnold would reply, his voice tinged with resignation as he watched his wife disappear out the door. I'm sorry, Arnold. I got caught up in the planning for the charity gala and lost track of time, Cecilia would say, her voice tinged with guilt as she rushed to his side. It's all right, Cecilia. I understand, Arnold would reply, his words a mask for the hurt he felt at being sidelined in his own home. But despite her best efforts to balance her social obligations with her responsibilities as a wife... Cecilia's priorities remained firmly rooted in the world of glamour and luxury. The allure of the spotlight was intoxicating, drawing her further away from the quiet intimacy she once shared with Arnold, and into a world where appearances reigned supreme. I just don't know what's gotten into her, Arnold. She's so consumed by her social life that she hardly has time for anything else, Christine would say, her voice filled with concern as she tended to Arnold's needs. It's not her fault, Christine. She's just trying to hold on to something that's slipping away, Arnold would reply, his voice heavy with resignation as he struggled to come to terms with the reality of his wife's absence. And so, as Cecilia's world revolved around the glittering allure of society, Arnold found himself growing increasingly isolated and alone, a silent observer amid his own life's drama. Though he longed for the warmth and companionship of his wife's presence, he knew that the woman he loved had been swept away by the currents of a world that no longer seemed to have a place for him. One day, Cecilia made the rare decision to stay home and attend to Arnold, but she couldn't help but notice the subtle shift in his demeanour. Despite her best efforts to be attentive and caring, she couldn't shake the feeling that Arnold felt much more secure and happy when Christine was around. Is there anything I can do for you, Arnold? Cecilia would ask, her voice laced with a hint of uncertainty as she attempted to engage her husband in conversation. I'm fine, Cecilia. Christine has already taken care of everything, Arnold would reply, his tone polite but distant as he turned his attention back to the book in his hands. The realisation stung Cecilia like a slap in the face, a painful reminder of the growing distance between her and her husband. Despite her best intentions, she couldn't compete with the warmth and compassion that Christine had shown Arnold in his time of need. I'm sorry, Arnold. I've been so caught up in my world that I neglected you. I'll do better, I promise, Cecilia would say, her voice filled with genuine remorse as she reached out to grasp his hand. It's not your fault, Cecilia. Christine has just been a great help to me during this time. Arnold would reply, his words a gentle reassurance that only served to deepen Cecilia's sense of inadequacy. As the day wore on, Cecilia found herself grappling with feelings of jealousy and insecurity, unable to shake the nagging feeling that she was losing her husband's trust in someone else. Though she longed to recapture the intimacy they once shared, she knew that rebuilding their relationship would require more than just a single day of attention and affection. I'll make it up to you, Arnold. I promise, Cecilia would say, her voice filled with determination as she resolved to bridge the gap that had grown between them. But deep down, she knew that reclaiming her husband's heart would require more than just empty promises. It would require a genuine commitment to putting their relationship first, even in the face of life's distractions and demands. And as she looked into Arnold's eyes, she knew that she was ready to do whatever it took to win back the love and affection that had once been hers and hers alone. While Cecilia appreciated Christine's invaluable assistance in caring for Arnold, she couldn't shake the twinge of discomfort that crept into her heart at the sight of their close bond. The thought of an outsider becoming so intertwined with their family dynamic unsettled her, stirring feelings of unease and insecurity. I'm grateful for all that you do, Christine. I, truly, I am, 
Cecilia would say, her tone polite but tinged with a hint of apprehension, as she watched Arnold and Christine share yet another moment of camaraderie. But perhaps it's best to maintain a professional distance, Cecilia would add, her words carefully measured as she struggled to mask the turmoil churning within her. Despite her best efforts to suppress her feelings, Cecilia couldn't help but feel a pang of jealousy at the thought of Arnold confiding in Christine instead of her. Their closeness had began to overshadow the bond she shared with her husband, leaving her feeling like an outsider in her own home. I am just concerned that perhaps things have gone too far, Cecilia would confide in Arnold, her voice trembling with uncertainty as she broached the subject delicately. Christine is like family to us, Cecilia. She's been a godsend in this difficult time, Arnold would reply, his tone gentle but firm as he sought to reassure his wife of his genuine affection for their devoted nurse. And though Cecilia knew in her heart that Arnold's intentions were pure, she couldn't shake the nagging feeling of insecurity that lingered within her. The presence of Christine had brought a sense of stability to their lives, but it had also stirred up emotions that Cecilia struggled to reconcile. As the days turned into weeks, Cecilia found herself grappling with conflicting emotions, torn between her gratitude for Christine's help and her discomfort at the growing intimacy between her husband and their nurse. In the end, she could only hope that time would heal the wounds of uncertainty and bring her the peace of mind she so desperately sought. Despite Cecilia's initial reservations, the bond between Arnold and Christine remained steadfast, rooted in a love that transcended the boundaries of blood relations. Their relationship was one of pure affection and mutual respect, built on a foundation of trust and understanding that had blossomed over time. Christine, you've become like a daughter to me, Arnold would say, his voice filled with warmth as he clasped her hand in his. And you like a father, Christine would reply, her eyes shining with genuine affection as she returned his gentle squeeze. Their connection was evident in the small gestures of kindness they shared, from Christine's tender care of Arnold during his weakest moments, to Arnold's unwavering support and encouragement of Christine's dreams and aspirations. Thank you for always being there for me, Mr. Arnold, Christine would say, her voice filled with gratitude as she leaned on him for strength during her moments of doubt and uncertainty. You're a remarkable young woman, Christine. I'm proud to have you as part of our family, Arnold would reply, his heart swelling with pride at the woman she had become. And though their relationship may have stirred feelings of discomfort in Cecilia at times, she couldn't deny the purity of the love that Arnold and Christine shared. In Christine, Arnold had found a kindred spirit, a companion to share life's joys and sorrows with, and Cecilia could take solace in knowing that her husband was in good hands, even when she couldn't be there for him herself. As the days turned into months and the seasons changed around them, the bond between Arnold and Christine only grew stronger a testament to the power of love to transcend even the most unlikely of connections. And though their journey together may have been fraught with challenges, they faced each obstacle with unwavering faith in the strength of their bond, knowing that together they could overcome anything life threw their way. On the other hand, on hearing the news of his father's illness, Dylan's visits remained infrequent and brief. While he made token efforts to check in on Arnold and Cecilia, his actions spoke volumes about his priorities, leaving Arnold feeling a sense of disappointment and abandonment. Dad, I'm busy with work right now. I'll try to come visit when I can. Dylan would say, his voice strained with impatience as he brushed off his father's concerns. I understand, Dylan. Just know that we're always here for you whenever you need us. Arnold would reply his heart heavy with the weight of his son's indifference. And though Dylan would call occasionally to inquire about his father's health, his words felt hollow and insincere, lacking the genuine concern and compassion that Arnold longed for. 
How's Dad doing? Dylan would ask, his tone casual as if discussing the weather rather than his father's well-being. He's holding on, Dylan, but it would mean a lot to him if you could come visit, Cecilia would reply, her voice tinged with disappointment as she struggled to mask her hurts. But despite his lack of presence, Arnold couldn't help but cling to the hope that his son would come to his senses and realise the importance of family in times of need. I'm sure Dylan has his reasons, Cecilia. We, we just have to be patient and hope that he'll come around, Arnold would say, his voice filled with quiet resolve as he tried to reassure his wife. But deep down, Arnold couldn't shake the feeling of sadness and longing that lingered in his heart. A reminder of the son who had drifted so far from the family he once knew. And as he faced the uncertainty of his illness, Arnold couldn't help but wonder if Dylan would ever find his way back home, before it was too late. Seasons changed, and a year later, Arnold lay on his deathbed. Surrounded by his loved ones, he knew that the time had come to make one final decision that would shape the future of his legacy. With a heavy heart and a sense of resolve, he called upon his executor and his family for a gathering, where he would announce his decision regarding his will. Thank you for being here today. I have something important to share, Arnold would say, his voice weak but filled with determination as he addressed the sombre assembly gathered around his bedside. What is it, Dad? You know you can tell us anything, Dylan would reply, his voice tinged with concern as he leaned in closer to his father. But as Arnold began to speak, the shock and disbelief that washed over his family was palpable, for he revealed that he had decided to leave his entire estate to Christine, the nurse who had become like a daughter to him in his final days. I know this may come as a surprise to some of you, but I believe Christine is the one who truly deserves my inheritance. She has shown me nothing but kindness and compassion, and I trust her to carry on my legacy with the same grace and dignity that she has shown me. Arnold would say, his voice steady, despite the emotions swelling within him. But Dad, what about us? What about your family? Dylan would protest, his voice laced with disbelief as he struggled to come to terms with his father's decision. I love you all dearly. But I have to do what I believe is right. Christine has been there for me in ways that none of you could understand, and I owe it to her to ensure that she is taken care of. Arnold would reply, his words a testament to the deep bond that had formed between him and his devoted nurse. As Arnold announced his decision to leave his entire estate to Christine, the reactions from his family members varied each one grappling with their own emotions in the wake of this shocking revelation. Cecilia, Arnold's wife of many years, felt a mixture of shock and disappointment wash over as she struggled to come to terms with her husband's unexpected decision. Tears welled up in her eyes as she realised that she had been overshadowed by someone who had entered their lives only recently, leaving her feeling as though she had failed in her duty as Arnold's wife. Dad, how could you do this after everything we've been through together? Dylan exclaimed, his voice tinged with disbelief as he tried to make sense of his father's decision. But as Arnold explained his reasoning, Dylan's shock turned to resentment, his heart heavy with the weight of betrayal as he struggled to accept that his father had chosen someone else over his flesh and blood. I can't believe this, Dad. I thought we meant more to you than this, Dylan would say his voice trembling with emotion as he fought to hold back the tears that threatened to spill over. And as Dylan's wife, Jules, listened to Arnold's announcements, she too felt a sense of disbelief and disappointment wash over her. Though she had only been a part of the family for a short time, she had hoped to build a future with Dylan and his parents, only to find herself sidelined in favour of someone else. I thought we were building a life together, Dylan. I didn't sign up for this, 
Jules would say, her voice filled with frustration as she struggled to come to terms with the reality of Arnold's decision. But, amidst the shock and disappointment that filled the room, Christine's reaction stood out as a poignant reminder of the deep bond that had formed between her and Arnold in their time together. Tears streamed down her cheeks as she listened to Arnold's words, her heart overflowing with gratitude and disbelief at the unexpected gesture of kindness and generosity. I don't know what to say, Mr Arnold. I'm so grateful for your trust and confidence in me. Christine would say, her voice choked with emotion as she reached out to grasp Arnold's hand. You've been like a daughter to me, Christine. I trust you to carry on my legacy with the same love and compassion that you've shown me. Arnold would reply, his voice filled with pride as he looked upon his nurse with a father's love. And so, in his final moments, Arnold decided to leave his entire estate to Christine a gesture of gratitude and love that would ensure that his legacy lived on in the hands of the one who had shown him true kindness and compassion in his final days. Arnold's decision began to sink in and Christine knew that she would carry the weight of his legacy with pride and honour, a testament to the love and trust that had grown between them in their time together. After hearing the statements, Cecilia was convinced that Christine had manipulated her way into her husband's affections. Determined to uncover the truth behind Arnold's decision to leave his entire estate to his devoted nurse. As Cecilia's shock and disbelief gave way to anger and desperation, she found herself grasping at straws in an attempt to reclaim what she saw as rightfully hers. With her mind reeling from the revelation of Arnold's decision to leave his entire estate to Christine, Cecilia's thoughts turned to the one thing that could potentially undo this final act of generosity. A DNA test. Cecilia had already taken aside the executor and bribed him with hefty money to change a few details in Arnold's will without anyone noticing it. Christine, I demand that you undergo a DNA test to prove your relationship with Arnold. Only the blood-related should inherit his will, Cecilia would declare, her voice laced with accusation as she confronted the nurse. The request sent shockwaves through the room, leaving Christine reeling with disbelief at the implication that she had somehow deceived her way into Arnold's affections. But despite the hurt and betrayal she felt at Cecilia's accusations, Christine knew that she was not on the hunt for the will, and she agreed to undergo the DNA test in hopes of putting an end to the rumours and suspicions once and for all. We need to settle this once and for all. We're taking a DNA test and we're taking it now, Cecilia declared, her voice laced with determination as she turned to face Christine and Dylan. Cecilia, is that really necessary? I have made a decision, and you should respect it. Moreover, I do not remember writing anything regarding my bloodline. Arnold protested, his voice tinged with frustration as he tried to reason with his wife. I won't stand idly by while someone tries to take what's rightfully ours. We're doing this and that's final. Cecilia would reply, her voice unwavering as she insisted on carrying out her plan. And so, with tensions running high and emotions running even higher, the family gathered to undergo the DNA test that would ultimately determine the fate of Arnold's estate. As the family awaited the results of the DNA test, Cecilia and Dylan couldn't help but feel a sense of confidence and smugness wash over them. In their minds, the outcome was already decided, and they saw themselves as the rightful heirs to Arnold's estate. We've got this in the bag, Dylan. Once those results come back, everything will be back to normal, Cecilia would say, her voice filled with a sense of triumph as she exchanged knowing glances with her son. You're right, Mum. There's no way Christine can compete with us when it comes to blood ties, Dylan would reply, his tone oozing with confidence as he envisioned the wealth and prestige that awaited them. As they awaited the fateful news that would confirm their victory, Cecilia and Dylan couldn't help but revel in the feeling of power and control that they believed was rightfully theirs. 
In their minds, Christine was nothing more than an interloper, a temporary obstacle standing in the way of their ultimate goal. We'll show them, Mum. We'll make sure that everything goes according to plan, Dylan would say, his voice filled with determination as he plotted their next move. Indeed, Dylan. We'll make sure that justice is served, no matter what it takes, Cecilia would reply her voice laced with a hint of malice as she envisioned the downfall of her perceived rival. But little did Cecilia and Dylan know that their overconfidence would soon be their undoing, for fate had a way of surprising even the most cunning of adversaries. As they awaited the results of the DNA test, they remained blissfully unaware of the storm that was brewing on the horizon, poised to shatter their illusions of victory and reshape the course of their lives forever. Despite the weight of Arnold's decision resting squarely on her shoulders, Christine remained surprisingly composed in the face of the impending storm. Grateful for the trust and confidence he had placed in her, she couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the opportunity to carry on his legacy, even if it meant facing the ire of his family. I'm just thankful for the time I had with Mr Arnold. Whatever happens, I'll always cherish the memories we shared, Christine would say, her voice filled with quiet resolve as she prepared herself for whatever outcome awaited them. As Cecilia and Dylan plotted their next move of a sense of arrogance and entitlement, Christine simply followed their instructions and waited for the results of the DNA test to come back. In her mind, the outcome was inconsequential compared to the love and gratitude she felt for Arnold and the time they had shared. I'll accept whatever happens, Mr Arnold. Your trust means more to me than any material possession ever could, Christine would say, her voice filled with sincerity as she whispered a silent prayer for guidance and strength in the face of adversity. And so, as the tension in the room reached a fever pitch and the anticipation of the impending results hung heavy in the air, Christine remained a picture of grace and humility. Her unwavering faith in Arnold's decision serving as a beacon of hope amid uncertainty. For her, the true measure of wealth lay not in material possessions, but in the love and kindness she had shared with Arnold in his final days. A treasure that no amount of money could ever hope to match. As the truth of Arnold's paternity was revealed, Cecilia's world crumbled around her in an instant. The DNA test confirmed what she had feared most. Christine was indeed Arnold's biological daughter, a fact that had been hidden from her and everyone else for years. Overwhelmed with shock and disbelief, Cecilia felt the ground give way beneath her feet as the weight of her jealousy and accusations came crashing down upon her. No, it can't be true! This is impossible! Cecilia would cry out, her voice filled with anguish as she struggled to come to terms with the truth. But as the evidence before her eyes became impossible to deny, Cecilia's denial gave way to overwhelming grief and regret. Tears streamed down her face as she realised the extent of her mistrust and resentment towards Christine, the daughter she had unwittingly pushed away in her quest for control and dominance. Arnold, why did you not tell me? I don't understand, Cecilia would whisper, her voice choked with emotion as she reached out to grasp her husband's hand to get the words out of him. As the full weight of her actions came crashing down upon her, Cecilia fell to her knees, her heart heavy with remorse and regret for the love she had lost and the pain she had caused. Similarly, Dylan found himself grappling with a whirlwind of emotions as the truth of his father's paternity came to light. Shock and disbelief washed over him as he struggled to come to terms with the reality of the situation, his mind reeling with the implications of what it meant for his own identity and sense of self. I can't believe this is happening, Dad. How could you keep this from us? Dylan would cry out, his voice filled with anger and confusion as he looked upon his father's lifeless form. As the truth sank in and the enormity of his father's secret became clear, Dylan found himself overwhelmed with grief and regret for the time he had lost with his sister, Christine, and the opportunities for connection and reconciliation that had slipped through his fingers. 
I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry, Christine. I didn't know. Dylan would whisper, his voice filled with remorse as he reached out to embrace his newfound sister, seeking solace in the bonds of family that had been hidden from him for so long. And so, as Cecilia and Dylan grappled with the shock and grief of Arnold's revelation, they found themselves faced with the painful truth of their shortcomings and the consequences of their actions. But amidst the pain and sorrow, there remained a glimmer of hope for redemption and reconciliation, a chance to heal the wounds of the past and forge a new path forward together as a family, united by love and forgiveness. Decades ago, in the small town of Clifford, Arnold and Margaret's love story began to unfold. They were just teenagers, swept up in the heady rush of first love, their hearts entwined in a bond that seemed unbreakable. From stolen kisses beneath the old oak tree, to secret rendezvous by the river's edge, Arnold and Margaret revealed the simple joys of youth, their laughter echoing through the streets as they navigated the ups and downs of young love. But as fate would have it, their carefree days were soon overshadowed by the weight of an unexpected twist of fate. Margaret found herself pregnant with Arnold's child, their youthful indiscretion leading to consequences neither of them could have foreseen. Caught between the pressures of society and the weight of their insecurities, Arnold and Margaret faced an impossible decision. They were too young to marry, their dreams of a future together shattered by the reality of their circumstances. With a heavy heart, Arnold bid farewell to Margaret and their unborn child, promising to return once he had made a life for himself. Years passed and Arnold found success in the world beyond Clifford. He built a life for himself, carving out a place in the world with hard work and determination. But amidst the hustle and bustle of city life, his thoughts often drifted back to the town he had left behind and the love he had left behind with it. And so, with a sense of trepidation and anticipation, Arnold returned to Clifford, hoping to find closure and perhaps even a chance to reconnect with Margaret and the child he had left behind. But as he walked the familiar streets of his hometown, he was met with a sight that brought tears to his eyes. Margaret, now a married woman, with a beautiful family of her own. Observing the joy and serenity on Margaret's face, Arnold realised deep within his heart that disturbing the tranquillity she had found would only bring unnecessary turmoil. Accepting this, he chose not to disrupt the beautiful life she had built. Though a pang of regret for not returning sooner gnawed at his conscience, he recognised that his absence had allowed Margaret to move on and create a fulfilling life for herself. Resolving to make peace with his decision, Arnold returned to his own life and eventually met Cecilia and continued his journey forward. Despite the guilt lingering in his heart, he found solace in the belief that his choice had ultimately brought happiness to the woman he once loved. As the truth of Arnold's paternity came to light, Christine found herself reeling with shock and disbelief, her mind struggling to comprehend the revelation that the man she had grown to love and care for was her biological father. The realisation sent waves of confusion and uncertainty crashing over her, leaving her feeling adrift in a sea of emotions she couldn't quite name. I had no idea, Mr. Arnold. I don't know what to say, Christine would whisper, her voice trembling with emotion as she looked upon the man who had become like a father to her. But as Christine grappled with the enormity of the revelation, Arnold remained silent, his heart heavy with the weight of the secret he had kept hidden for so long. He had recognised the familiar glint in Christine's eyes the moment he had laid eyes on her but he had chosen to keep his true identity hidden, fearing the chaos and upheaval it would bring to their already fragile relationship. I'm sorry, Christine. I should have told you sooner. I didn't want to cause any trouble, Arnold would say, his voice filled with regret as he reached out to grasp her hand. But despite his apologies, Arnold couldn't help but feel a sense of pride in the decision he had made to keep his true identity hidden. 
he had seen the love and compassion that Christine had shown him in his final days. And he knew in his heart that she was his daughter in every sense of the word, regardless of blood ties or genetic makeup. And so, as the truth of their relationship came to light, Arnold and Christine found themselves bound together by a bond that transcended mere biology, a bond forged in the fires of love and compassion that had brought them together in their time of need. Though their journey had been fraught with challenges and obstacles, they knew that they were stronger together, united by the unbreakable ties of family and the enduring power of love. In the wake of Arnold's passing, Cecilia found herself consumed by a profound sense of regret and remorse for the doubts and insecurities that had plagued her throughout their marriage. As she watched her husband slip away peacefully, the weight of her actions bore down on her, leaving her heart heavy with the burden of guilt. I'm so sorry, Arnold. I should have trusted you more, Cecilia would whisper, her voice choked with emotion as she reached out to grasp his hand for the last time. But as Christine looked upon Cecilia with compassion and understanding, she found it in her heart to forgive the woman who had once doubted her loyalty and love. We've all made mistakes, Cecilia. What's important now is that we come together and support each other through this difficult time. Christine would say, her voice filled with sincerity as she offered her hand in friendship and forgiveness. As Dylan, too, grappled with the weight of his regrets and shortcomings, he found solace in the knowledge that his family had found forgiveness and reconciliation in the face of tragedy. We may not have always seen eye to eye, Mum, but I want you to know that I love you, Dylan would say, his voice filled with emotion as he embraced his mother the barriers of resentment and bitterness melting away in the warmth of their shared grief. And so, as Cecilia, Christine and Dylan came together to mourn the loss of their beloved husband and father, they found solace in the bonds of family and forgiveness that transcended the bitterness of the past. In their shared grief, they discovered a newfound strength and unity, a testament to the enduring power of love and forgiveness in the face of life's greatest challenges. After the whirlwind of emotions surrounding Arnold's will had settled, Christine returned home one evening, her mind still reeling from the events that had unfolded. As she sat down with her parents, Margaret and Charles, she couldn't help but feel the need to unburden herself and share the truth of what had transpired. Mum, Dad, I need to talk to you about something. Christine began, her voice tinged with a mixture of apprehension and determination. As she recounted the events of the past weeks, the revelation of Arnold's paternity, the inheritance, the commotion among the family, Margaret listened in stunned silence, her eyes widening with shock as she absorbed the full extent of Christine's revelation. I had no idea, Christine. I'm so sorry you had to go through all of that. Margaret would say, her voice filled with empathy and regret as she reached out to comfort her daughter. But as Christine continued to speak, Margaret felt compared to share a secret of her own. A truth that she had kept hidden for years. A truth that would shed light on the decisions she had made in the past. Christine, now that you already know the truth, I need to tell you my side of the story. Margaret would say, her voice trembling with emotion as she gathered her thoughts. When I was alone and pregnant with you, I met your father, Charles. He came into my life when I needed him the most and we made the decision to continue our journey together as a family. As Margaret's words hung in the air, Christine felt a surge of emotions wash over her, a profound sense of gratitude for the parents who had loved and supported her unconditionally throughout her life. I had no idea, Mum. Thank you for sharing that with me. Christine would reply, her voice filled with warmth and affection as she reached out to embrace her parents, the weight of the past lifting from her shoulders in the glow of their unconditional love. With a heavy heart, Charles hugged Christine, his eyes filled with regret and remorse for the truth he had kept hidden for so long. I am so sorry, Christine. 
I should have told you the truth from the beginning, Charles would say, his voice filled with sincerity as he sought forgiveness from his daughter. But instead of anger or resentment, Christine would respond with a sense of compassion and understanding beyond her years. It's okay, Dad. I know you did what you thought was best for me, Christine would reply, her voice filled with warmth and affection as she reached out to grasp her father's hand. Despite the revelation that Charles was not her biological father, Christine's love for him remained as strong and unwavering as ever. For her, love was not defined by blood ties, but by the bond forged through years of shared experiences, laughter and tears. To Christine, Charles was more than just a father. He was the man who had been there for her through every milestone and every challenge, offering guidance, support and unconditional love along the way. From late night conversations to comforting hugs, Charles had always been her rock, her pillar of strength in times of need. And so as Christine processed the truth of her parentage, she found herself filled with a profound sense of gratitude for the man who had stood by her side through thick and thin. Though their relationship may have been built on a foundation of lies, Christine knew that their love was genuine, transcending the boundaries of biology and genetics. I may not be your biological daughter, Dad, but you will always be my father, Christine would say, her voice filled with love and appreciation as she looked into Charles's eyes. As they sat together, united by the bonds of family and forgiveness, Christine knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, she would always find strength and solace in the love of her parents, Margaret and Charles, who had guided her through life's greatest trials and triumphs with unwavering love and support. On the other hand, Cecilia had been facing a change that she was definitely not ready for. Before the revelation of Arnold's will, Cecilia's life revolved around the glamour and glitz of high society. She was often seen at lavish events, dressed in designer gowns and adorned with sparkling jewels basking in the admiration and envy of her peers. Her days were filled with social engagements and charity galas, her calendar overflowing with invitations to the most exclusive events in town. But as the news of Arnold's decision to leave his entire estate to Christine spread through Clifford, Cecilia's world was turned upside down. Gone were the days of luxury and extravagance, replaced by a simmering sense of jealousy and resentment that threatened to consume her from within. I can't believe this is happening. How could Arnold do this to me? Cecilia would mutter under her breath, her voice laced with bitterness as she struggled to come to terms with her newfound reality. But despite her inner turmoil, Cecilia knew that she had to put on a brave face and play the role of the gracious widow, even as she seethed with jealousy and fury on the inside. Oh, Christine, dear, I'm so happy for you. It's just wonderful that Arnold left everything to you, Cecilia would say, her words dripping with insincerity as she forced a smile onto her face. But deep down, Cecilia couldn't shake the feeling of betrayal that gnawed at her heart, the sense that she had been robbed of the life she had grown accustomed to. As she watched Christine step into her newfound role as the heir of Arnold's fortune, a part of her couldn't help but resent the young woman who had come between her and the life she had once known. I'll just have to make the best of it, won't I? Cecilia would say, her voice tinged with bitterness as she tried to convince herself that everything would be all right. But despite her efforts to put on a brave front, Cecilia couldn't escape the gnawing sense of injustice that lingered in the depths of her soul, a constant reminder of the life she had lost and the woman who had taken it from her. As she navigated the unfamiliar terrain of life without Arnold by her side, she couldn't help but wonder if she would ever find a way to reclaim the glamour and glitz that had once defined her existence. Christine observed Cecilia's struggles to come to terms with the situation, and she couldn't help but feel a pang of empathy for the woman who had once been her father's wife. Despite Cecilia's outward facade of composure, Christine could see the turmoil brewing beneath the surface, the hidden wounds of jealousy 
and resentment that threatened to consume her from within. I can't stand to see Cecilia suffer like this, Christine would say to herself, her heart heavy with compassion as she watched Cecilia put on a brave face amid adversity. And so, with a sense of determination and kindness in her heart, Christine decided to extend an olive branch to Cecilia offering her a portion of Arnold's inheritance as a gesture of goodwill and reconciliation. Cecilia, I know this must be difficult for you. I want you to know that I don't hold any ill will towards you. I would like to offer you a portion of the inheritance as a token of my appreciation for the role you played in my father's life, Christine would say, her voice filled with sincerity as she reached out to grasp Cecilia's hand. As Cecilia looked upon Christine, with tear-filled eyes, she felt a wave of overwhelming gratitude wash over her, the weight of resentment and bitterness lifting from her shoulders in an instant. Oh, Christine, you have no idea what this means to me. Thank you, thank you so much, Cecilia would reply. Her voice choked with emotion as she embraced Christine the barriers of resentment and jealousy melting away in the warmth of their shared understanding. And so, as Christine and Cecilia forged a newfound bond of friendship and mutual respect, they found solace in the power of forgiveness and reconciliation, their shared grief and loss bringing them together in a way neither of them could have anticipated. In that moment, they knew that despite the challenges and obstacles they faced, they would always be there for each other. United by the enduring bonds of family and forgiveness that transcended the bitterness of the past. In the quiet corners of Clifford, whispers echoed through the streets, carrying with them the tale of love, betrayal and redemption that unfolded within the walls of Arnold's household. It became a cautionary tale, a sombre reminder of the destructive force of jealousy and the transformative power of understanding and compassion. Neighbours exchanged hushed conversations over picket fences, their voices tinged with sympathy and sorrow as they reflected on the tragedy that had befallen the once happy family. The story of Arnold's, Cecilia, Christine and Dylan became a symbol of the fragility of human relationships, a stark reminder of the consequences of letting suspicion and mistrust drive a wedge between loved ones. But amidst the whispers and rumours, there was also a glimmer of hope, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for forgiveness and redemption. As Christine inherited Arnold's fortune, she made a solemn vow to honour his memory by using her newfound wealth to make a difference in the lives of others. With a heart filled with compassion and determination, Christine set out to carry on Arnold's legacy of kindness and generosity using her resources to support charitable causes and lend a helping hand to those in need. From funding educational scholarships for underprivileged children to supporting local charities and community initiatives, Christine's philanthropic efforts touched the lives of countless individuals, spreading hope and healing in the wake of tragedy. As the years passed, the tale of Arnold's household became more than just a cautionary story became a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, love and forgiveness have the power to heal wounds and mend broken hearts. Through Christine's actions, Arnold's legacy lived on, inspiring others to embrace compassion and empathy in their own lives, and ensuring that his memory would be cherished for generations to come.